he's already got all these plans to head downtown and go eat at St. Elmo's. And so hopefully we'll we'll do some fun things during the week while you know until until the big race starts again. Just from the you know, three rounds of online, did you feel like you feel like you kind of got to ramp back up though? It had to be yeah. a little bit of an emotional letdown. It, I mean, it definitely was. You know, you get up there, you know, you're ready to race. You're so excited to be, the, you know, at the U.S. Nationals, getting qualified, being in the number one spot, and then it kind of all just fades away. You know, you look at it and you go, you know, I have to come out and I have to do it all over again next weekend. You know, it's it's tough to, you know, get a number one spot, and, and it will roll over. But um, you know, anyone can come out here and run better than a 404. You know, you got to be ready, and you just really have to you know, get back in that fight mode and, and really tackle it just like it was, you know, the U.S. Nationals all over again. So, I mean, you're kind of, you know, you're starting from the beginning, but we got a good race car, tracks just where Mustang's been running good, and I think, you know, I think we got a good shot at it. If you got some time to kill, I guess your dad's probably one of the best people on the planet to be hanging out with That's true. Dad's definitely, uh, he's he's a lot to handle, but, you know, he's a lot of fun. He knows this this place like anyone else, but, uh, like, local, I mean, he he's out here in Indiana all the time, and, uh, you know, our shop's out here in Brownsburg, and, and we're just going to have fun, you know. we got to have a little fun for this week, but then, you know, come Saturday, you know, it all starts over, and we got to get back into fight mode and, and just focus on racing. Thanks. And real quick, we've got a couple days left to get here, but looking like 70-degree weather, do you guys have a, which will be different than what you tested and different than the race conditions we saw, do you guys have a pretty good, cool weather tune-up to put in it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've gotten, you know, some information from the last, you know, races that we were at with, you know, with the same similar conditions. And uh, unfortunately, it won't be exactly the same as we had this last weekend with, you know, the cloud cover and everything. But um, so it, it definitely changes, you know. We had the tune-up right, and now we're kind of going into the tracks to shoot out blind. You know, we don't really have a run to base it off of. All the conditions are going to change. The track's going to change. So it definitely throws you off a lot as a driver and as, you know, as a team and, and for my crew chief. But, you know, we got a good car. We just got to, you know, stay focused on how we want it to run and, and uh, just get it going down to the other end of the racetrack and see what it'll do. Great.